Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is going to be absolutely bonkers. Now, the data is in and certain metro areas are absolutely up in flames. So much so that Boise, Idaho, 70% of sellers have started cutting their listing prices. And you guys, here's what this is representing. We are absolutely in the beginning stages of a housing market crash. And I believe the cities that had the highest migration rate are the biggest at risk. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to dive in to Idaho and I'm going to show you guys what that mass migration is really doing to that city. And as a result, how overvalued it became. And what we're going to do is we're going to deep dive into a Redfin article that's titled 70% of Boise home sellers dropped their asking price in July. Now you guys remember, I'm not a financial advisor, even if I want to be, even though my bio is as a realtor, loan officer, instructor, father, husband, renter, and someone that owns property and someone that went through a foreclosure. And if you guys can, please like this video for me. I know these intros are long. I have to do it. It's a YouTube thing. I'm sorry, you guys, but please like this. And if you can, I have a question. I want to get to know you. Okay. Here's my question. What was your favorite sport to play as a child? Mine was basketball. I absolutely love playing basketball. If we don't count tag and hide and seek, I love playing basketball. I want to hear what you guys did in your youth for a childhood sport. Let me know below, but let's get started on this article right now. A high share of home sellers dropped their asking price in July, particularly in pandemic boom towns as they struggle to match their expectations with the reality of a cooling housing market. Thanks for helping us with that reality, Redfin. Just kidding. You didn't help. You actually thought the reality was reverse. It goes on. Nearly 70% of homes for sale in Boise had a price drop in July. I repeat, 70% the highest share of the 97 metro areas in this analysis. Next came Denver, where 58% of homes for sale had dropped prices. Salt Lake City's next at 56%, and then Tacoma, Washington at 54%. Those four metro areas topped the list in June, and Boise, Salt Lake City, and Tacoma were also among the top 10 metros with the biggest upticks in their price drop rates from a year earlier. Tampa at 52%, Sacramento at 52, Indianapolis 51, Phoenix 50, San Diego 59, Portland 48, round out the top 10. More than half of those metros are among the 20 housing markets that cooled fastest in the first half of 2022 after attracting scores of eager home buyers during the pandemic. Individual home sellers and builders were both quick to drop their prices early this summer, mostly because they had unrealistic expectations of both price and timelines. They priced too high because their neighbor's home sold for an astronomical price a few months ago and expected to receive multiple offers the first weekend because they heard stories about that happening. My advice to sellers is to price their home correctly from the start, except that the market has slowed and understand it may take longer than 30 days to sell. If someone is selling a nice home in a desired neighborhood, they shouldn't need to drop their price. So think about that for a second. 70% of listings in Boise drop their prices. Okay. To me, what this is representing is Boise is going to start to crumble because one of the reasons why Boise has these price cuts like this is Boise is one of the most overvalued metro areas in our nation, just like Austin. And the, one of the reasons that is, is the mass migration to Boise from a whole bunch of West Coast states. So a bunch of West Coast states flooded Boise. And I believe the predominant reason was obviously reduced cost of living, but also tech jobs and the job market was surging. So it's going to be very, very especially interesting to see what happens to Boise and also other high migration areas like Austin. But just to give you an idea about how bad the migration into Boise was, take a look at this migration map right now. And you guys can kind of see here. And what's really interesting is Redfin users searching in, look at this, 66 percent searching for in Boise City for homes for sale. And I believe this is a representation of everyone in this area, right? I don't know for sure because it doesn't break this down. But look at this. Look at all of these states flooding 
to Boise. I mean, it was absolutely shocking. Washington, Oregon, Nevada, Arizona, California. I mean, they're rushing here, y'all. So, you know, obviously what's going to happen is, is this is going to become overvalued. So when the migration dies down or the job loss starts to happen, this city right here is going to crash. And you guys can access this too. You know, you could put your own metro area right here. This is the drop down menu. I would strongly encourage you to do that. If you're wondering, is your housing market going to crash? It probably is if it was one of the areas with mass migration, although Florida is a little bit different. Let's get back to this article right now. Nationwide, the share of homes for sale with price drops reach a record high in July. Sellers had to cut their prices because they were catching up with buyers who had come to expect lower prices amid a cooling market. Rising mortgage rates and the prospect of falling home values also made buyers hesitant to pay sky high price and an uptick in supply gave them more to choose from. Price drops are likely to flatten out as sellers come to terms with the shifting market. More than 15% of home sellers dropped their asking price in, in every major US metro. Nashville, where 32.3% of homes for sale had price drops, represented since the typical metro area in July. Half the metro areas in this analysis had a higher share of price drops and half had a slower share of price drops. So in other words, you guys, the fear of missing out is now starting to spread to the seller's housing market, which is what we desperately need. And that's why you're seeing such massive, massive percentages of total people cutting the prices on their homes, right? But not only that, they also overlisted them with wrong expectations. They're probably still trying to get the June peaks for their prices, which quite frankly is not going to happen. And here's the thing, even if people wanted the house, okay, even if the people wanted the house, they're priced out. So many people right now are on timeout. You can't buy right now because you've just been priced out. That's actually a really good thing. And if you're one of those people that got priced out, don't be discouraged. You're probably dodging a bullet. And here's the great thing. You could do something about it. You just have to lower your debt to income ratio. How do you do that? Get out of consumer debt is one way. Also making more money is another way. But let's jump back into this article right now. So again, you guys, here's the top 10 metro areas with price cuts. And again, you guys can access this. This, this list goes deep, but I only stuck with the first 10. And what, you know, what I noticed here is these are all over the place, right? We got West coast, you know, there's nothing East coast on here yet, but my point in showing you guys, this is this crash and this price cuts and all of the things that are going on right now, this is widespread. It was, just, you know, last time it mainly hit California, Arizona, Nevada, Florida. This time around, the housing market crash is going to hit, in my opinion, a lot more areas because we had low interest rates in the entire nation, not to mention the mass migration this time around, totally out of control. But not only that, also investor purchasing, it's all out of control. So keep your guy. So keep your eyes on the data. We're probably going to start seeing a continuation of price drops, especially because we're moving out of spring and summer into fall and winter. And I believe it's going to start getting really, really dark. Now, you guys, I really hope you guys got some value from this video. And if you're out there investing in real estate, you know I wish you luck and I hope you win.